look at uh, look at Reed Humphreys who's come out and really established himself on the mound right now. Um, we've got Blake Smith who's come in and, and shown that he can do some things as well. Ryan Rigby. I mean, we, we've got a candidate of guys back there that we're we're still trying to figure out. But I like our options back there. Jacob Billingsley as you know as a power slider. Just throwing the ball really well right now as well. So. Would you like one guy to do it, or would you just like it to be a multitude of guys? Well, it's been my experience, you know, in coaching this game, especially in college, that you need to, uh, if not three. You know, last year I had three. I was fortunate yet because I think college baseball today, uh, it's not like the big leagues where the guy comes in and just throws the ninth. Um, you, need, you need somebody to come in. You may need the game may be on the line of the fifth, and you need that closer to come in. You may burn him in the fifth, sixth. And so you better have somebody else to, to hold it there, you know, in the ninth. So I, I really like having multiple closers. Um, and, you know, if you kind of go back and look at, at what I've done over the years, that's, that's how I've treated it. How do you think Marrero's handled the pitching stuff? Oh, phenomenal. I mean, that guy defines competitor. Uh, now, now, is he young? Does he still have some things we've got to work on? Absolutely. Uh, at least, you know, it's silly to say that, that, that he's 100% you know, ready. But his competitiveness makes up for a lot of things that he's not ready for. There's so many options this year with this pitching rotation. You sort of went into it. Just how difficult is it to make sure you can get guys enough throws or just enough time on the mound when they're so they're ready for the game? Well, you know, I think that goes, you know, with your preparation. Um, I talk to our guys every day about prioritizing and how we're going to do that. But you know. We do a really good job here of making sure we get them up against a lot of live hitters. Even these young men now, I'm trying to get them in. Uh, we, we've got a lot of talented arms on the staff, and, and, you, and you're right. I mean, that is going to be uh, an issue, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll find it. Dakota. Uh, Austin, you know, one of the things that uh, I'm excited for Austin about is, is we, we've given him a great call. Um, and, and I really, really believe that's going to get him deeper into ball games. Um, with that being said, I mean, his poise out there on the mound is something that, you know, I've, I've pointed to a lot this year and said, hey, look what Austin Sex is doing. You know, with our younger pitchers, uh, he's been a phenomenal role model in how he handles the game. The game doesn't get sped up on him. So he, he's been big for the staff. So how about Sure, you know, obviously not being with Dakota, you know, till till like the end of October. You know, when I got here, one of the first things I did was just try to get Dakota um, a really defined routine on what you do every single day, from from the way you wake up in the morning to, to when you get to the yard, and then when you get to the yard, what your week looks like. Um, because for me, guys like Dakota need a routine, and so that's one of the things we've really worked on with him. And I think, you know, I, I think you saw it last night. I mean, I hope he can continue to carry that over. He had a phenomenal start last night, his last start, obviously, before, before we start the week. But, um, yeah, his routines really, I think, helped him get comfortable with what he's doing. Do you see Zach Houston's role being? We're going to give Zach a chance to start. Um, you know, he's, he's done it now um, two, two weeks in a row. He'll go again today. Um, and he's been phenomenal. And, you know, I, I, I think that's where we can, you know, we, when you look at a staff like this and you look at the talent we have, you're like, okay, how do you get 50 innings or more out of the Zach Houston you know, or, or whoever it is, right? And the answer is, is you got to find out what role they do. And everybody's like, well, Zach can be a great closer. Well, one of the things for a great closer is he's got to be able to turn his arm around really quick. And I think, you know, Zach does take a little bit longer to recover where you've got other guys who really bounce back fast. So, you know, Zach can be out there competing, but if you guys well know, I mean, if you're not 100%, you can compete all you want, your stuff's going to be a little flat that day. Where I think if we start him, we give him more time to recover, and then he's able to do more things for his club. This is true.